Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna solve not one, not even two, but three puzzles. And all of them are made by Hanayama. It's actually a collaboration of Hanayama and Nintendo. You can see Nintendo's logo right here. And the puzzles are called The Legend of Zelda. I have to say, I never played the Legend of Zelda game series from Nintendo and I had no idea it exists until recently when Hanayama released the puzzles. Nevertheless, I have three puzzles here and I want to try to solve all of them in this video. If you like any of these three puzzles and you want to buy them, link will be in the video description as always. And don't forget to check my Etsy store, puzzleguysstore.etsy.com, since I have some unique puzzles for sale that are not available in any other puzzle shops. The first puzzle is called Hyrule Crest. It has a difficulty level 4 out of 6 and the goal is to take it apart and reassemble it again. The second one has a difficulty level 5 out of 6 and it is called Triforce. I think that I have an idea how to solve it. And the last one, it is Master Sword. It has difficulty level 6 out of 6. I'm pretty sure all these three puzzles are based on existing Hariyama puzzles, but let's try to solve them and see how it goes. Okay, so that's the first puzzle, Hyrule Crest. I have to... Remove this triangle, I guess. Let's check what the box says. Yeah, I have to remove the small triangle. Let's see. I think it will be like a classic string puzzle. I have to do something with the chain in order to remove the triangle. Let's see. It goes here, then here. Okay, I think that I have to grab this part, move it up put it through the triangle. It's much easier to solve such puzzles when you have a string instead of the chain. Okay, now I have to put this loop inside of this hole. But I have to make sure that it is long enough. So now I put it right here. Yep, now I put this part through the loop and remove the loop. Now I have to, I guess I still have to put it through the second one. Yeah, I have to put the loop right here. Now I have to make sure that I put the other end of the chain in a correct way. So I guess it goes right here. Now I can remove the loop, move it out here and remove the triangle and the puzzle is solved. Okay, that wasn't hard. I knew exactly what to do to solve the puzzle. So let's put everything back since assembling is a part of the puzzle as well. Okay, I think that now the puzzle is assembled back together. And I can say that it is solved both ways. Let's move to the next one. The next one is Triforce. It has three parts and the goal of the puzzle is to take it apart. Actually, I think that it has more than three parts. It has four parts. There is a triangle inside and three exactly the same parts. So let's see how to take it apart. I guess spinning will help me. Maybe on the other side. Oh, okay, something happens. After spinning, I can see the three parts are loose a little bit, but still I can't open it. Maybe I have to spin it like this as well. Yeah, disassembled. Okay, that's quite interesting. Each piece has two pins and you have to release both pins. That means that the when you put it into vertical position and you spin it, that's the only way how you can take it apart. And when you spin it flat on the surface, you won't be able to take it apart. Okay, so now let's put everything back together. I have to put this triangle inside. Now I have to put everything in a one smooth motion. And the puzzle is solved. Okay, that was fun and quite easy to solve. And let's move to the last one, which has difficulty level 6 out of 6. And the goal 
will be to remove the sword. This one will be a little bit more difficult to solve. So let's see, we have four parts, the base, the sword and the sword is held by two parts that are in the base and I have to remove them. I can't put these parts through this opening or oh, there is Nintendo uh, name next to the Hanayama, quite unusual for Hanayama puzzles. Maybe I have to... Oh, okay, one piece on the left, it moves up a little bit. What's next? Oh, now I can rotate it. Okay, it's some kind of a maze and maybe better to solve the puzzle upside down, at least. That's my guess. Since the parts will drop down when it is upside down. Oh, this piece is already out quite a lot, but the second one doesn't move a lot. Okay, now I was able to move the second piece. I'm wondering if the position of the sword actually makes any difference. It looks like it doesn't matter. I have to rotate just the two inner parts. It looks like I got stuck a little bit. There is some kind of a maze inside which I don't really see. And that is the reason why it is hard to move the parts. Maybe I have to move the parts in and out a lot and do a lot of rotations. Oh, a little bit of a progress. One piece is almost out. And I just have to find the next step how to move the second piece. I can see through the bottom side, but I don't see what I have to do. <laughs> okay, more progress. Or oh, maybe I'm moving back. Oh, another piece out, almost out. Oh, and done. The puzzle is solved. Okay, we have two parts and a sword. And it actually looks like a maze with some restrictions in the base. The sword actually doesn't do anything. It just trapped between two parts. Now I have to put everything back inside. Oh, done. And that's how you solve the master sword puzzle. It took me about 10 minutes to take it apart and reassemble it back together and in total I spent less than 20 minutes solving three new puzzles from Hanayama. That was my attempt to solve all three puzzles from Hanayama's Legend of Zelda series. If you like any of these puzzles and you want to buy them, link will be in the video description and don't forget to check my Etsy store since I have some unique puzzles for sale that are not available in any other puzzle stores. Thank you for watching the video, see you next time.